All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Uh, I'm Dave, and this is my political channel. It's called Save America, Vote for Tulsi Gabbard. Thanks over on Twitter, by the way. I've got some new friends over there who have noticed that I've been making quite a few videos about Tulsi. Um, <laughs> it's the focus of the channel, and uh, I think this channel is unique in the fact that it's just dedicated to Tulsi Gabbard. Um, you know, I will consider other things in the future if for some reason Tulsi is shut out. We need to get her on the debate stage, okay? I know the media right now is pushing back, pushing back against her in the sense that, well, she's not really a serious candidate. She's a fringe candidate, you know what I mean? Because that's the impression. When she gets up there and people are allowed to see and hear for themselves what she's got to say, People agree with her message almost 100%. I know there are Trump people who are probably defecting. I, and I know that bothers some progressives, but guess what? We were mostly looking to, to save this country with Trump. We thought Trump was anti-establishment. We thought, you know, there are a lot of things I know. People, he's a reprehensible human being, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we were willing to kind of put that aside for the benefit of this country and the fact that uh, endless war was a bad thing and Trump was really the first candidate to get to the White House in a long time who's expressed any desire to curtail the warfare state. Well, as of today, that ain't working out. In fact, uh, the people that Trump have, the Trump administration has put in place, uh, it could have been in George W. Bush's administration. I'm waiting for Trump to give Dick Cheney a call and, and give him some kind of job, you know, since what, D Dick had the heart transplant or something like that. You know, good as new. Get him back out there and um, Liz Cheney, have them all in there. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. It's incredible. The stuff that helped cause one of the worst economic collapses in 2008 that this country has ever seen. And it's looming again. There are economists all over the place that are talking about um, further economic disaster. Uh, and you, because it's, it's not a military economy, an economy based on war is not sustainable. I mean, that's why these guys are running around saying, okay, after uh, we get through in Venezuela, we're going back to Syria. Uh, or we're going to Libya, or we're going to Nicaragua, or we're, I mean, I've heard all kinds of crazy things. I mean, um, Mike, Mike Pompeo has said some crazy stuff. Elliot Abrams, who, I mean, this is all in his wheelhouse. He just can't wait to go all over the world and assert American influence and power because that's what Americans want him to do, right? Wrong, wrong. Both the left and the right, or at least the <laughs> the groups that aren't tied in to neoliberalism or neoconservatism, um, all of those people, for, well, we'll put it this way, the common man and woman, when they just hear the facts, like the way Tulsi Gabbard says, um, you know, we have no money for infrastructure because we're spending a trillion dollars over here. We have no money for clean air and clean water because we're spending trillions of dollars and it goes on and on and you know these guys make a point and I'm on the right but they make a valid point there's a ton of money for the military industrial complex and nobody argues about in the budget nobody nobody argues about it and a lot of these senators they're you know they got military bases or whatever in their district both Democrats and Republicans and they work as hard as they can to bring as much bacon home back to their district and what are they doing? They're bringing it back to those in the military. But the people who are living in that district, they might benefit slightly in a residual way from the economy that that creates locally. But long term, it's not sustainable, people. And that's why Tulsi Gabbard is a serious presidential candidate. She's not a fringe candidate. I know the media has already typecast her as fringe. Uh, Morning Joe has already gone after her in a way which I've, I've rarely seen them go after anybody. 
like that. It wasn't, it was like a prosecution. It wasn't an interview. And, you know, she got, she did really well and then she got hit again. It's like, um, if you watch that stuff, it's like they went around the room. Is Assad a bad guy? You know, it's like, here, you know, take this sodium pentothal. Can you tell us if Assad is a bad guy? You know, I mean, they want to hear that because they want to feel justified in their foolishness. They want to all be, you know, seen as rational people that look around the world and want to rearrange the world in their image, you know, that they're the moral and virtuous people, and they're not. They're not. Because they're, they're forgetting about the people who this hurts over and over again, you know? I will agree, you know, if you get sick, you shouldn't have to spend your life savings trying to keep yourself alive. There should be a mechanism that works on your behalf because there's a mechanism that works on the behalf of the military industrial complex. And we should have the money to take care of the least of these, um, to use a little Bible reference there, just a little one for you conservative folks out there, or Bible believers. All right, the least of these. Um, that was the concern of Jesus, the least of these. So I don't think any of us wake up in the morning thinking that our country is inherently evil, but we're getting to a point where there are people who are so misguided and so duped and so brainwashed into thinking that their way of relating to the world is better than an average person like myself who wakes up and says, hey, why are we giving $38 billion to Israel? Why? And then they, you know, because they, oh, well, they're helping the economy because they take the money that we're giving them and then they buy our stuff. And then we send them the stuff and then they modify the stuff and then some of it gets into the hands of our soldiers. I'm assuming they're selling it back to us, the modified version of the stuff that we're selling them. And that's a, that's a crazy business model for an economy. I mean, the banks couldn't have come up with that. You know, money launderers couldn't have come up with that. All right. Um, got people who offshore their money. This, they're no worse than what we're doing uh, with this foreign aid. And by the way, I'm opposed to all foreign aid. Uh, I just look at Israel and I say, unless it's a humanitarian crisis, you know, earthquake, flood, hurricane, yeah, let's go and help people. Let's be a true force for good. You know, that's when you deploy and you say, okay, send the National Guard in and they can come and give food and aid to people who need it. Not this blow crap up and then we co go in later and fix it. And then we rebuild, you know, nation building. But, you know, it strengthens the economy, Dave. You're missing the big point. You're very naive. I'm not naive to think that Tulsi Gabbard has the right message at the right time. Because everything else hasn't worked, okay? It doesn't work to base your economy on the military-industrial complex. Tulsi Gabbard has it right. The money needs to stay here. And it needs to help the least of these. All right. Done with this video. There's a lot more I could say on this topic, but... Um, there are people that have said it better than me. Again, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate that and all the help over on Twitter. I'm picking up a few Twitter followers now uh, who are spreading the word. I will continue to make uh, videos, at least one or two videos a day, maybe three, depending on what mood I'm in and what headlines are <clears throat> out there which relate to Tulsi's campaign. And there's a ton of stuff almost on a daily basis that relates to Tulsi Gabbard's message and her campaign. Again, support Tulsi Gabbard, donate, it's Tulsi2020.com. Uh, give a dollar, give whatever you can because we need to get her on the debate stage. Talk to you soon.